Okay, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to read the public, the Open Public Meetings Act of 1975. Under Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975, better known as the Open Public Meetings Act, the Middlesex County Board of Social Services, as a public body, is required to hold open meetings and to post and distribute to the press its public notice 48 hours prior to the meeting date. Our board sent to the Home News Tribune and the Star Ledger a copy of the public meeting notice on Monday, January 8, 2024. A copy of the notice was also posted in the Board of Social Services reception area and delivered to the county clerk for posting in the county administration building. Uh, we'll ask um, Stacy Bersani to, to uh, do the roll call of board members, please. Barbara Blackwell. Here. Sandra Coleman. Here. Jerome Hayes. Here. So teach your comment. Eric Marazine. Janelle Rodriguez. Commissioner Escona Barber. Here. Oh. Commissioner Koppel? Here. And that's it. Okay, so we do have a quorum. So, um, Ms. Blackwell? At this time, I will turn the meeting over to Ms. Harkin. Good morning. Um, at this time, I'm going to ask for nominations for the position of chairperson. I'd like to offer Barbara Black Blackwell as chairman. Chairperson. Thank you. Any further nominations? Okay, so no other nominations? Uh, declare the nominations are closed. And Stacy will take a roll call vote. Well, I, I skipped Barbara, correct? No, she can vote. Okay, Barbara Blackwell? Yes. Sandra Coleman? Yes. Jerome Hayes? Yes. To teach, uh, no, sorry. Commissioner Ascona Barber? Yes. Commissioner Koppel? Yes. Okay, votes unanimous. Okay, the winner of the position for chairperson <laughs> is Barbara Blackwell. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Congratulations Barbara. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Now, at this time, we. Will you call for nominations for vice? Chairperson. Yes, I will call for nominations for a vice chair, which I would like to nominate. Well, let's hear for, is it, does anyone have any nominations for vice chair? Okay, and Barbara? I would like to nominate Sandy Coleman as Why vice chair. Oh. Any, okay, any other, got to ask for any other nominations? Is that okay? Yes. Any other nominations? Okay. Then the roll call vote. Roll call vote. Barbara Blackwell? Yes. Sandra Coleman? Yes. Jerome Hayes? Yes. Commissioner Ascona Barber? Yes. Commissioner Koppel? Yes. We have a unanimous vote. Now, at this time, I'd also like to uh, discuss or nominate for the secretary treasurer. I, I'm sorry. Right at the bottom. Yes. Yeah. Request nominations and elections for the sec secretary treasurer. Um, can I just say something before we go on? Because we don't have. Um, everybody here. Is this something that the board would agree to temporarily let I Sandy think, hold I don't think you can. For 30 days until our next I, meeting? I think you can't. I think the only, under the statute, um, I believe the only dual office is secretary treasurer. I, you cannot serve as, say, a vice chairperson and secretary treasurer. So. We even, would, even for our temporary? Uh, uh, yes, that's my opinion. So I would need nominations for the secretary treasurer. Do I 
anybody? Okay, well, we, you know what, since it's, there's no nominations and we actually do need the, the Secretary Treasurer to sign the warrants and all the bills, I will uh, make a legal, I'll render legal opinion that um, Sandy can serve as Secretary, continue to serve as Secretary Treasurer, a position she has served for certainly as long as I've been here, at least on a temporary basis until the board meets again and hopefully we have a, uh, a close to the full board. So I just want to, I think we need a motion to permit Sandy Coleman to uh, continue as Secretary Treasurer temporarily until the appointment of a uh, permanent uh, Secretary Treasurer that will hopefully be at the next board meeting. Is that okay with everyone? Do I hear a motion? I make a motion to approve. Right. I need a second. Okay. All in favor? Well, let's do a roll right. call vote. Okay. Barbara Blackwell? Yes. Sandra Coleman? Yes. Jerome Hayes? Yes. Commissioner Ascona Barber? Yes. Commissioner Koppel? Yes. Okay. At, at this time, um, I hope everybody won't mind, but I'd like to read something. Um, before we go on, well, we have to do the, sec the, the oh. assistant secretary treasurer. I, who was? I don't know. Did we have? It was Eric last year. Oh, okay. It was Eric Marazzi. Yes. Okay. I mean, um, the fact that he's not here does not preclude us from nominating him. And um, okay. So, does any would anyone like to nominate? Is there any nominations for assistant, assistant secretary treasurer? I'll nominate Eric. Okay. Eric Marazzi has been nominated. Are I'll there second. any further? We don't need a second. Any further nominations? Okay. The nominations for Assistant Secretary Treasurer are closed. Stacey, can you do the roll call? Roll call. Barbara Blackwell? Yes. Sandra Coleman? Yes. Jerome Hayes? Yes. Commissioner Escona Barber? Yes. Commissioner Koppel? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, I just would like to read something um, before we continue. Eric, this I have a letter for you um, that I'd like to read out loud, but I, I have it for you for a copy as well. On behalf of my colleagues on the Board of Social Services, I wish to share our concerns and ask for clarification regarding the events which occurred during our December 14th, 2023 board meeting. Subsequent to this meeting, my fellow board members and I have been copied on communication back and forth between yourself, Middlesex County Council, and the Middlesex County Board of Commissioners. As a result of these communications, my colleagues and I feel compelled to ensure that we have all of the information necessary to make decisions about the executive leadership of this agency and to ensure that we're complying with all relevant regulations which govern our hiring process. I want to be clear, this, is, this inquiry is not a reflection at all of the qualifications of Dara Harke, but an acknowledgement that this board has an obligation to ensure process is followed to identify the best possible candidate for any open position, especially the position of director. With that being said, I am requesting that this board be provided with the next seven days, both digital and hard copies of any notifications, correspondence, certifications, or communications between the Board of Social Services and the New Jersey Civil Service Commission as it relates to the director position. A memo outlining the hiring process which the agency has followed to date for the position of director, the remaining steps of this process as it relates to civil service, and explaining the choices available to this board to, build, to fill the vacancy created by the resignation of the director. This memo should also outline the basis by which the recommendation of a promotion was made to the board members as opposed to a presentation of available options to fill the vacancy. A listing of the position titles eligible through the civil service to advance to the position of director and a listing of any existing employees who sit in those titles today. 
It is clear that there has been, at best, a lack of communication regarding the process of replacing the director, and at worst, a flawed process which attempted to circumvent the board's ability to make decisions about leadership of this agency. Furthermore, the effect, effective immediately, I'm formally requesting to be copied on all communications with the Civil Service Commission related to this hiring process. I am also formally notifying you that effective immediately the board is placing a freeze on the hiring of a deputy director or any other executive leadership positions until such time as clarity has been reached regarding the position of director. I look forward to receiving the requested information and further communication to occur between the board and the administration. And this is a copy. I don't know if we want to make sure all the board members have it. Um, and again, it's no, I think it's just something that we need to discuss as a board. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, okay. At this time, um, have the minutes from the previous meeting, and can I have a motion to approve the, the minutes from the December 15th? Our, our December meeting. We'll make a motion. Do I have a second? I need a second to approve. Anyone? I need a second to approve the minutes. Okay, Mr. Hayes. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Thank you so much. Okay, ratification of transactions accomplished by direction and authority of the director. Vote. Yeah, wait, wait, we need a vote to uh, approve the minutes. I don't think we have. Oh. One. We, do not have one. we did not take a vote. Right, okay. so let's do a vote. I apologize. No, 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 that's okay. Need a vote to approve the minutes? Do you want to do a vote? Do you want to do a vote? Do, do a vote. Barbara vote. Blackwell? Yes. Sandy Coleman? Yes. Jerome Hayes? Yes. And we already have Commissioner Ascona Barber? She's already indicated she's going to abstain, as has Commissioner Capone. Okay, so we don't need to ask her. Okay. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No, no, no we, she did the roll call. We did the roll call. You don't need that. Right. The ratification of transactions accomplished by direction and authority of the director from the December 15th, 2023 to January 10th. Motion. Okay. Do I have a second? We need a second? Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Receive. Uh, okay, thank you. And a re I think there's a little delay. That's there no, is. there is. Yeah. Yeah. We receipt of the treasurer's financial report, which is in your packet. And I need a motion to approve. As treasurer, I cannot make that motion, so another board member will have to do that. I need a motion to approve. The motion to approve. Okay, by the second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Authorization of funds requisition. That is also in your packet. I need a motion to approve. And just so everyone knows, um, this is something we do every month. It's the mon funds we request. Uh, from the county uh, for the programs that are listed on the um, request for uh, the funds requisition, which you all have received prior to the meeting. Okay, so we need a motion. Motion to approve. And a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 
Aye. Thank you. Receipt of an approval for the list of bills that are in the packet. I need a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Communication. Each board member was sent a copy of the correspondence received by the board. Um, and then the certification list that the board received. Certification list from the Civil Service Commission for the following title. Social Service Technician Bilingual Spanish English. And then Old Business. Okay. The director. Okay, for old business, we're going to discuss the active caseload report. The state's most recently posted current program statistics report is for the month of September. It shows workforce in Jersey town of caseload in Middlesex County was 582 families, which consists of 1,507 persons. In September, 59 cases were closed and 44 cases were added. Food stamps 29,211 households, a 2.3% decrease from last year, and 54,265 persons, a 1% decrease from the prior year. GA cases totaled 614, a 14.4% decrease from the previous year. New applications report shows TANF applications decreased from 303 in November to 267 in December. GA applications decreased from 443 in November to 437 in December. SNAP applications decreased from 1,474 in November to 1,140 in December. And the SNAP recertifications decreased from 1,400 in November to 1,385 in December. The Medicaid redetermination report shows total redeterminations 50,124 individuals. Approximately 21% of the redeterminations are overdue. This chart also shows approximately half of the counties in New Jersey have an overdue rate of over 15%. Do any of the uh, board members have any questions um, they'd like to pose to uh, the director regarding the um, reports that she just uh, expressed? I guess there are none. So. Okay, thank you. Um, new business. Is there anybody from CWA Local 1032 present? No, there is okay. none. Okay. Do we have any public input? Yeah, just for the record, state your name in your um, town where you live. Certainly. Uh, board, Charlie Craddaville from New Brunswick. I'm the editor of New Brunswick Today, community newspaper. I, I, be, I don't mean to interrupt you, but you can, if you'd like to speak, like five minutes on the resolutions and then five minutes on anything else related to the, the sure. agency. Sure. I'd be honest, I couldn't find an agenda, so I don't even know what oh, the agendas. I'm what sorry. Resolutions the agendas are. are right there. Oh, they're right there. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a peek at it. But just more, more generally, I was interested in learning uh, about the board and how it runs. I, is there a director at the moment or an acting director? No, there is a director, Ms. Hartay. Okay. Um, I know I attended a county commissioner meeting where the uh, appointment was voted down, so I was just sort of unclear on the status, and well, I noticed, but, yeah. Okay, just so you, just so you are aware, the, the board, uh, this goes back to the 1930s when the board was created by statute. Um, it started out as the County Welfare Commission, and then over the years it became the Board of Social Services. Under the Title 44, which governs the board, the appointment of a director is a Board of Trustees appointment. The freeholders now, the commissioners, they appoint the board members. There are currently eight board members by statute two of the governing body now i refer to them as freeholders i used to work i was first deputy county council for like 31 years so i still have the freeholder but the commissioners uh designate two members as ex officio voting members the county adjuster ms coleman by statute is a voting member of the board and then the remaining public members two of whom have to be women are appointed for five-year terms they are given the authority to basically set policy, hire 
um, the employees of the board. So I don't know if you need anything more. I mean, that was just a real Reader's Digest version. I appreciate it. And your, and your name? It's Eric Aronowitz. I'm the board attorney. Okay, great. And and so the director, not acting director, the, the right. current director is? Dara Harkey. Dara Harkey, okay. And, and just so you know, Ms. Harkey was, um, she's been with the agency 40 years? Over 40 years. Over 40 years, and she's worked her way up. She was appointed uh, last year as the deputy director pursuant to a promotional examination given by the Civil Service Commission. Um, and that's how she became the deputy director before that. She was the administrative supervi supervisor of the adult Medicaid uh, department of the agency. Great. Well, thank you. Congratulations and best wishes to you. Um, I would like to review the minutes from that December 14th sure, meeting. Absolutely. And, and now that they've been approved, I can, yeah, yeah great. we can give you a copy of after the, after the meeting. Is sure. that acceptable? Yeah, yeah. And I'll just um, give, give a few comments briefly. Sure. I absolutely. do uh, appreciate the work of the board. I know a lot of people in New Brunswick are struggling and, and depend on the services here. I was reading about the last director and Apparently, she had quite a lengthy tenure, I guess, even I before she, this building was she built. Was she was, in, that's yeah, when she took she over. She was probably the longest serving director of board of welfare in the state of New Jersey, and probably knew more than anybody, including people in the state. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure she will be missed, and I certainly uh, appreciate her service. I did want to, you know, just, just note that, you know, getting out to this location is. Uh, you know, doable if you have a car, but many people in New Brunswick don't have cars. The county used to run a bus system that would help folks get here and other places. And with the pandemic, that's been totally, you know, uh, kiboshed. You can't, can't get a bus out here, as far as I know, unless there's some, some secret bus I don't know about. And I think that's a problem. I think a lot of people would be able to live better lives and help themselves and their families and, and uh, have better communication with the staff here if there was adequate transportation to get people here, especially from the, the city center in New Brunswick and the neighborhoods where so many people are struggling right now. So I just wanted to put in a word for that and ask for the board to get behind restoring some level of bus service to this location. I think it would be you know, good for all involved and uh, anything we can do to limit this traffic and get more people to use transit instead of everybody driving their own vehicle out here uh, would be a positive thing. So uh, I hope that you'll take my suggestion in, in, uh, uh, to heart and to, to, uh, to move on that. And I'll, uh, I'll stay as long as I can. If I can get those minutes at the end, I'd oh, appreciate absolutely. it. Yeah. Thank you. And Thank just so you know, I, I think the same thing as I'm sitting in traffic coming to work every morning. So. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, anyone else from the public? OK. All right, so now I'm going to read the resolutions. Well, you don't have to read them because they're all on part of the consent agenda, so it's... Okay, if it's everybody would like to read the resolutions. And, and then if you come down to the bottom here, it's the motion to adopt the consent agenda. It's on the last page for the next to it. I don't have to read all of that? No, 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 no. Okay. okay. All right. It's underneath the personnel. Okay. Uh, May I have a motion to adopt 